Hello, I'm going to show you a really easy way to add gradient hair to Suica's customizable model. I did this in Clip Studio Paint with their free trial and their gradient tool. First, you're going to want to open the PSD file in Clip Studio Paint. And then you're going to go to the left over here and click on the gradient tool. It's underneath the fill tool. If you want only one color, you're going to use foreground to transparent, and you're just going to select whatever color you want and fill it in over here. If you want a few more colors, you can choose one of the pre-made options that they have and fill in whatever colors you want. So I'm going to do my hair purple, pink, orangey yellow. And if you want, you can drag the little arrows down here to adjust how much of the gradient you want to have. Then you're going to go back over to your layers, and you're going to expand the layer right here next to the folder. And you're going to click hide on the markers. Then you're going to select the actual texture layer. Then up above right here, you can click new raster layer. Then you'll click clip to layer below. And where it says normal, you'll want to go to multiply. Then you're going to go back over to the left and click on the lasso tool. And you're going to select the pieces of hair that you want to color. I'm only going to do these two pieces because I don't want to mess with the contrast at all. So once you've selected the pieces of hair, you're going to go back to your gradient tool. Click on your gradient. And then you're going to start from the bottom of where you circle. Click and drag upwards. If you want to adjust the gradient, you can click a little higher and drag upwards, or you can click from the top to the bottom, or you can click and drag not too high so you get just a little bit of the gradient and the hair. If you want to just do one color, it's the same thing. Use foreground to transparent. Use the lasso tool to select the pieces of hair that you're coloring. And then foreground to transparent, click and drag upwards. If you want the gradient higher, you can always move higher or you can do it lower. And you can also use the blending tool if you're not happy with the gradient as well. So yeah, pretty simple, very easy to do. Hopefully that helps.